How's it going everyone? My name is Roger and I'm Maida. Welcome to Iron Travels. So in this video we're going to share with you some of the most beautiful beaches that we have visited around the world and we hope to inspire you and help you visit those beaches too. Let's go. Okay so let's start off with our favorite, the number one, our favorite so far. It's located in Fiji in the Yasawa Islands. It's called the Blue Lagoon Resort. Um, not only is this beach super beautiful and it has some of the liveliest reefs that we have seen, uh, it has also been the spot where we had our honeymoon. So it is a beautiful location. Uh, the beach, the water is really clear. Uh, to get here, you go to the Nan Nandi International Airport and then you, we took a seaplane to the to the Blue Lagoon Resort, Echo Resort. Uh, you could also go there by boat, but this uh, is one of our favorites so far. All right, so now the second most beautiful beach that we have visited is called Kalamangan Island. And this island is located in the Philippines. It's a beautiful, small island with um, approximately 795 uh, meters of sandbar on both sides of the island. So here, since we travel with our, our tent and our backpacks, we actually camp here, so you're able to camp. And it's just beautiful. We totally recommend to go here. Uh, we experience like a beautiful sunset, moonrise and sunrise, a beautiful, beautiful island. So this one to get here, uh, you have to arrive on Cebu International Airport from there. Uh, you go to Maya Port, and from Maya Port, you take a ferry to Malapascua Island. And from Malapascua Island, you take another boat ride to Calamangan. It's a small island, and that's why it's just so beautiful. So, we 100% recommend it. I definitely recommend going ready to camp if yes. you're gonna go there because camping is gonna make your, your, your time there so much more Paradise. precious. <laughs> Okay, so the third most beautiful beach that we have visited is called Playa Balandra. So this beach is located in Mexico, in Baja California. We did a road trip to Baja California and uh, this was one of the beaches that we visited. It is amazing, the water is super clear. There's a blend of, you know, desert with mountains with super clear warm water. And, um, you know, you could get here if you're driving from California, you could road trip down. The beach is super beautiful. The water is really, really clear. We got to camp here in our camper van, so we were able to sleep right in front of the beach for absolutely free. Um, if Just you, make sure, sorry, <laughs> make sure if you camp to bring everything because there's nothing there. Yeah, yeah. And, and also, if you haven't seen the Baja California video, we're gonna post it up here so you can, if you decide to do this road trip, you can have a ton of places to visit. Um, so this beach, don't forget to stop there if you're doing a road trip. But if you're planning on visiting, uh, if you're planning on flying in, uh, the closest airport is in La Paz. La right? Paz, and an hour away is also Cabo San Lucas. And if you ended up going to our another favorite beach, which is um, Santispac, uh, the closest airport is in Loreto. So we recommend it, it's beautiful. Yes, it is. <laughs> All right, so now it's time for the fourth most beautiful beach that we have visited, and that is Playa Flamenco. Playa Flamenco is located in the island of Culebra in Puerto Rico. This is a beautiful island. Uh, again, we also camp here. You can camp $30 per day, and it's beautiful. We recommend you to camp here. We also brought our snorkels, so we got to snorkel with turtles, uh, in a nearby nearby beach, which is uh, Tamarindo. Mm -hmm. It's on the same island. It's just amazing. The water is crystal clear, uh, blue. It's just a beautiful, beautiful beach. Um, and I believe it's one of the most beautiful around the world because it was just amazing. Yeah. Um, to get here, so you, the of course the airport is in Puerto Rico and San Juan. From there, you go to uh, the public transportation, which is, Carros del Este, and then from there you go to the ferry, which is in Ceiba, and from Ceiba that's where you take the ferry to the island. And we recommend it 100%. It's beautiful, and the snorkel was also beautiful. I know it sounds kind of challenging to get there, but it's totally worth it. Yes. Besides, we have a, a, a whole video of uh, traveling to Puerto Rico, so if you are thinking about it, that might help you as well. We'll put that up here too. 
Okay, so our fifth most beautiful beach that we have visited is called da, 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 da. Kapas. So Kapas is located in Malaysia. Uh, this is also really, really beautiful. It's a small island as well. Um, the beach here is amazing. The snorkel is also one of our favorites. Um, we camped here for around $7 per night. Uh, there, for, both. for both, yeah. So a total of $7 and uh it's really beautiful there's restaurants there there's a ton of campgrounds a ton of hotels um there's there's also uh if you're not into camping there's you know uh rooms that you could rent there's nice hotels and um this this beach is it's is beautiful. is beautiful we only spent three days there but it's something that we always talk about and we're like man i want to <laughs> go back to Kapas and stay there for like a month yeah because it's just a, a place for you to enjoy the beach life there's no cars, yeah. there's nothing, it's just an island where At you At least can, 10 days, but yeah. more than 3 days for sure. <laughs> where you could just go and then just relax and spend your time reading and working on YouTube video, whatever you'd like to do. This place is amazing. So to get here, um, of course we arrived in, in the airport in Malaysia. But um, if you get a bus to Maranan City, from there that's where you take the ferry to Capas. And um, like Roger said, the, the island is very affordable and it's, it's beautiful. We have a video, I'll put that one here too, up, up here. So we have a video on Malaysia if you want to check that out. All right, so now it's time for the six most beautiful beach that we have visited. And that's Kelinkin Beach. This is located in the island of Nusa Penida. And this island is, island is located in the Indonesia. This beach is so beautiful. You're going to see the waters are turquoise blue and however there's one thing about this beach it's high cliff so you can see it from above this is actually a famous beach yeah you've probably seen the they're, um, they're all over instagram yes this, it's just uh, it's really really beautiful uh however to go down there you are able to but it's only recommended to expert swimmers because sometimes there's like rip currents mm -hmm. and i am a beginner so i was scared to go down there and it's a really high cliffs and Roger is afraid of heights so we both decided not to go there for me it was still worth it um, going just to see it because that whole island of Nusa Penida is beautiful so we got to enjoy other beaches but this one to see it it's just it's amazing like it's hard to believe your eyes yeah we have a friend that went down we oh yeah we have a friend that Anselica. went with us she's super brave she went down she was going down on all these cliffs <laughs> Um, Nusa Penida is beautiful, the island itself, we're going to try to do a video only on that yeah. island because there's so many beautiful spots, Amazing. but everything is high cliff, so for me yes. that's a little scared of heights, uh, it's, yeah. but it's so, beautiful. So how to get here, so we arrived in the international airport in Bali, and then from there we went to the city of Sanur, and from there we took a boat to the island of Nusa Penida. So that's how to get there. And then to move around the island of Nusa Penida, we actually rented a motor, um, scooter. a scooter. And it's, uh, it's kind of dangerous to drive there. So uh, I, we recommend only to expert drivers, but you can always hire um, a driver to, to drive you around. Okay, so now let's talk about our seventh beach. Uh, it's 4K Beach in Korong, uh, Cambodia. So this is a beautiful, beautiful beach. It's a long stretch that you could walk on for hours. Um, the, the sand is really fine and powdery. The water is crystal, crystal clear. There's a ton of uh, little restaurants along the way that have a little island feel to them. Uh, there's also um, resorts and stuff like that that you can stay right in front of the beach. But we do have some mixed feelings about this beach and island in general. Uh, there was a big trash problem when we visited. Um, if uh, there was a little bit more trash than usual that we've seen on the beach, um, if they if they haven't fixed this trash problem yet, we wouldn't really recommend you to visit. But if they did, you should definitely go and visit this island and spend some time there because the island itself is really beautiful yeah. and this beach is one that you should visit if it's if, if they so just... if, if they fix the problem this is how this is how to get here you take transportation and go to the city of Sinahukville and from there you take the ferry to uh, Koron Island and then from there uh, you have choices of staying in, in, in like a chalet or 
camping like we did. We paid, um, I think we paid around five dollars for both per night for camping. Okay, so now the eighth most beautiful beach that we have visited is Koron, and this is in Thailand. So here you can see and enjoy the tropical reefs and hilltop views. Um, we visited here for the day and we did a small hike. Uh, once you are on top of the hike, you can see the beautiful island. It's uh, crystal clear water, blue, beautiful. And uh, we recommend it to do the hike if you go there. So you can stay here in this small island. Uh, there's chalets available. However, we were staying on the nearby island and we did like a one day trip on a boat. So to get here, uh, so you you get a better a better uh, view, uh, we arrived in Phuket Airport. From there, we hired a van and we went to the city of Chiffon. And from the city of Chiffon, we did for the first time an overnight um, boat, and it was really comfortable. It was cheaper, and we recommend it. So it it takes some time together. I think it was like a whole day. But it was worth it because the, the little island is, is beautiful and it's tropical, really nice. So we recommend it too. Okay, so let's talk about our ninth most beautiful beach that we have visited. And this one is called Gili Trabawan. Uh, this is in Indonesia. It's one of the three islands in Indonesia. We visited all three. We're gonna try to do a video about those, but this was our favorite one out of the three. Uh, we traveled with our own snorkels and we were able to see some turtles when we got in the water right away. Uh, the reef is really, really nice. Uh, it has its own vibe, each island. This one had a, a good vibe as well. We were able to bike around the whole island. Uh, we went, we were, we went to, at the end of the day, we went to the other side of the island where the sun sets so we could watch the sunset. Um, so we had a great time here. We thought we would throw this in the video as well because it was beautiful. So to get here, we arrived once again in the international airport in Bali. And then from Sanur, we took the boat to, to the island. And then from each island, you can take a boat to the other two islands. Recommend. All right, so now the 10th most beautiful beach that we visited is called Genda Tia in Vietnam. Mm. So this beach is very unique uh, from the other beaches that we have visited. You're gonna see around 3,700 columns or rock, and these these were made by volcanic eruptions millions of years ago. So it's a very unique structure of beach. Um, for us, it was like the first time we see something like this. When you're in the rocks, it feels like really hot from the sun. The water is, is really nice, blue, crystal clear. Uh, so it was really refreshing after being walking around the rocks. Um, we ended up at this beach because we bought a, a motorcycle, motorbike in Ho Chi Minh and we were doing a road trip. So that's how we ended up at this beach. However, if you have limited time, the closest airport to this beach is in Phuket Airport. So we recommend it uh, because honestly it's beautiful. Okay you guys, so for our 11th beach, 11th favorite <laughs> beautiful beach that we visited. We even brought Jimas along to help us out with this one. If you live in the United States, this is a good place for you to uh, go and visit. Yeah. Uh, if you don't want to travel as far as Asia or these other beaches, it's called Cape Florida Lighthouse. It is a beautiful beach. This lighthouse was built about 200 years ago. Um, the water is crystal clear. Uh, the sand, nice and white. You can rent chairs and umbrellas for $25. Uh, we have a Miami video, we'll post it up here if you want to start off with some of those beaches. Um, and uh, how do you get here? So if you arrive in the Miami International Airport, you're going to need some type of transportation. It's about, how long from South Beach? Uh, we would say maybe 30 uh, minutes in yeah. car from South Beach. So this is another island, this is like the end of that yeah. island. And yeah, so once you get there, just have fun and it's, it's really beautiful too. Recommend it. All right, and now our 12th most beautiful beach that we have visited. This is for the people that live on the West Coast, or if you haven't been to uh, San Diego, this is the time to go there. There's a lot of beautiful beaches over there, but one, of, one that we really like, and this is where I actually 
uh, where Roger Tommy had a snorkel. So it's a very special one, and that is La Joya Cove in San Diego. It is beautiful. Go there in summer. I recommend there to go in August because that's when the water is a little bit warmer than other months. And if it's a clear day, um, there's a number that you actually called. We'll, we'll leave it on, on the comments to see about the, the water visibility, the visibility of the ocean. But we recommend to snorkel. We snorkel here. You see the unique fishes of um, San awesome. Diego and also you're gonna well. snorkel with sea lions it's a very unique spot it's a, it's a small uh, beach but it's very beautiful um, there's also caves that you can ca yes. kayak around I don't know if we have videos of that we'll try to uh, throw have some, some in here if we have some but you can, ca you can kayak around the caves and see the it's sea lions it's a very unique beach and recommended recommended Okay, you guys, so this concludes our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, comment. Uh, let, let us know if you have any questions about any of these beaches or if you have one that you need to recommend us, let us know because we are we love beautiful beaches. Mm -hmm. And yeah, that's I think that's it for today for this video. Don't forget to check out the videos that we posted up here if you want to uh, see a little bit more detail about each of those places. Um, and uh, I guess we'll see you next time. See you next time. Enjoy the water. <laughs> Woo.